Let's get to our big story with Mark Dunn in our newsroom tonight. Mark, big meeting in Washington, Obama, congressional leaders. Uh, what do we know about what happened? Yeah, that was quite the, uh, the show there. I mean, I don't think I've seen more backslapping and, and high-fiving in quite a long time. But, you know, you had the four head congressional leaders. They're all, you know, locked down with President Barack Obama to try to find a compromise, at least sort of, sort of set the, uh, a roadmap. Uh, going forward to avoid this fiscal cliff. Then, of course, they all came out afterwards, stood shoulder to shoulder uh, in a show of solidarity. Uh, one of the first times we've seen something like this, Dave, and I think that they're uh, getting the message from the American pu public who are screaming to fix this mess. You look at some polls out today, 82% of Americans are saying uh, they don't want to go over uh, this fiscal cliff because they certainly don't want to see their taxes increase by as much as $3,500 uh, to some middle class family. So quite the show and um, hopefully uh, it's meaningful and, and these guys, uh, uh, you know, they're their, their deputies and whatever uh, will sit down behind closed doors and put pen to paper and try to come up with an, a, an agreement uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, President Obama off to Asia next week, but he's saying that his aides will continue to meet with Republicans. They'll try and sort something out. In the meantime, something else you were tracking today, our finance minister, Jim Flaherty, was stateside today down in New York City. Uh, what was he doing there? What did he have to say down there? Yeah, no, he was down in the Big Apple. He was giving a speech to the Foreign Policy Association and put in context, this is three days after uh, Tuesday's fiscal update uh, where he warned Canadians that the Conservative government wasn't going to meet its promise to eliminate uh, its deficit by 2015-2016. But, you know, he used a lot of those same lines he's been using, using for the last uh, several months about how great the uh, Canadian economy has weathered uh, the economic storms that have been buffeting the global economy over the last couple of years. You know, the Eurozone situation, which we now know has gone on into recession as of yesterday. Uh, the issues in China, you know, that economy contracting, the ongoing economic problems in the United States uh, from the 2008-2009 uh, fiscal crisis. He basically said, you know, uh, we're with you guys. Uh, you got to do something in Washington to avoid this cliff. Uh, look at Canada. We've been in tough times before as well. Uh, use us as an example. Basically take a page from our playbook, Dave, uh, and apply it in Washington, and you too can succeed uh, in the economy like, like we have uh, at least so far. Uh, one of the other things you were tracking today, I mean, it was a busy day for you, was uh, taking a look at some of the odd things the U.S. government is spending its money on. Yeah. And when you told me about this in the newsroom tonight, I said, we got to tell this to our viewers tonight. Run through some of the uh, strange and quirky ways uh, U.S. tax dollars are being used. Yeah, and of course, this all falls into, you know, one of the, the big negotiating uh, chips on the table, you know, entitlement programs or discretionary spending. In, th in this particular case, uh, defense, Tom uh, Coburn, he's a Republican from Oklahoma, a waste watchdog, with you will, if you will, for the, for the Republicans. And he threw out a few things that the Americans are spending money on, including... Uh, $300,000 spent by the Air Force to study the wing color of 150 million year old birds, dinosaurs if you will. Another, Dave, $1.5 million uh, spent to develop a special rolled up version of beef jerky of all things. And I think one of the funniest things that he uncovered was $100,000 in, uh, in 2011 workshop on interstellar space travel that included a session uh, probing how Christian theology about salvation would apply in the events aliens are discovered. So, I mean, when you see things like that, I think uh, it will give a lot of Americans uh, cause to wonder that, hmm, I think there are some things that we can cut and maybe reach a deal uh, in terms of cutting some of the, the huge spending uh, problems down in the United States. $100,000 in case the aliens land. Hmm, very odd. I know. <laughs> All right, Mark Dunn in our newsroom tonight. Have a good weekend, my friend. You too, Dave. Thanks.